Hi guys, so we have an O-level pass paper question from the year 2014. The session is May-June. This is question number one. This question is based on bearings and loci. So let's start. The question says, the scale drawing shows three airfields, A, B and C, with B due north of A. The scale is 1 cm to 20 km. Part A says, Part A says, find the actual distance between A and B. In order to do that, first we need to measure the distance of this field in centimeters. So from this point all the way till this point, it is somewhere around 6.7 or 6.8. So if this is 6.7 or 6.8, let's assume it to be 6.8. We multiply 6.8 by 20. Why do we multiply it by 20? Because 1 centimeter is to 2 kilometer is the scale of this diagram. So when we multiply this by 20, let's see what we get. Our answer comes out to be 136 meters, sorry, kilometers. That's our answer to the first part, 136 kilometers. Okay. The next part of the question says, a beacon D is due west of the line AB. It is 100 kilometer from A and 120 kilometer from B. Okay. So from A, if it is 100 kilometers away, first you need to divide 100 by 20 and you get 5. So it's 5 centimeter away on the uh, scale drawing. And you need to divide 120 by 20 as well. So from, C, uh, from B, it is going to be 6 centimeters away. The question says construct the position of D on the scale drawing. Remember, it is due west of the line AB. Okay, going back. Now, 5 centimeter and 6 centimeter. What we need to do is look at the scale drawing that we have over here. The point D will be on this side of the line. But first, in order to do that, we need to first open our compass to 5 centimeters from this point all the way till this point. 5 centimeters from A, that means if you draw an arc 5 centimeters from A, it will look like this. Okay. And then from B, it is 6 centimeters. So from C, oh, sorry, from B, it is going to be 6 centimeters. So from B, let's open our compass up to 6 centimeters and draw an arc that is 6 centimeters, sorry, that is 6 centimeters away from B. So our point D will be over here. This is point D. The next part of the question, let's read what it says. The next part of the question says, measure the bearing of C from B. Okay. So we need to measure the bearing of C this point from B. So first, let's use our protractor. Let's draw a north line somewhere around like this. Okay. Okay. Now, since we are measuring our bearing of C from B, first, let's complete this diagram. Let's connect B and C to make things simpler for us. Okay. And then let's connect this point that we drew on the top with B like this okay now let's measure the angle we put our compass over here oh sorry protractor over here let's measure the angle the angle is 103 degrees okay perfect so the answer to this question the answer to this question is 103 degrees the next part of the question says an aircraft is equidistant from a and c and 90 kilometers from b now, in all, if it is 90 kilometers from B, we need to divide 90 by 20 again. This gives us 4.5 centimeters. In order to, and, uh, for the aircraft to be equidistant from A and C, you need to draw a perpendicular bisector of the line A and C. But first, let's draw the line A and C. A and C over here is going to look like this. I'm going to stretch this line over here. Okay. So, the perpendicular bisector of A and C we need to use our compass for this one. So what we do is, we put our compass over here at point A, stretch it a little more than the center and we draw an arc like this. Over here and over here. Oh, one second. Over here. Then we do the same without moving our position of the compass. We put it at C and we draw an arc over here and another one over here. Then let's connect these two points. When we connect these two points, this line that you get in the middle is going to be the perpendicular bisector of this. 
One second, let me extend this further because it is going to give us two points. One second. I hope this line is visible. This gives us two different points. Okay. Now, it also says that it is 90 kilometers from B. That means our compass needs to, uh, our compass needs to be opened up till 4.5 centimeters. So, you put a compass over here and open it up till 4.5 centimeters. Then, you draw two arcs or perhaps one single arc that is a huge one from B all the way like this and it crosses this perpendicular bisector at two different points like this. One of the points is going to be over here and the other point is going to be over here. So the aircraft can be either at this point or can be at this point right here. One second. The question says by constructing a suitable loci mark on the diagram two possible positions P and Q of the aircraft. So we can call this point over here. One second. We can call this point P and we can call this point over here Q. I hope this is visible. The last part of the question says, given that the aircraft is east of the line AB, find by measuring its bearing from C. Okay, so this point that they're talking about is this one that we have over here. This is point Q. All we have to do is find the bearing of this point from this point that we have over here. Now, this is a bit technical. First, let's do one thing and draw a line straight from C all the way to Q. Okay. Now, since we have drawn this line, we also need to find the angle that we have over here. I'll tell you in a moment why do we need to find this. How do we find this? Let's measure this. So, we measure this angle and this angle roughly comes out to be 54 degrees. So, this is 54 degrees. Now, if this is 54 degrees, that means if I draw a rough north line over here, this is not to scale, but this is a rough north line that we have over here, then this angle that we have this is going to be 54 degrees okay so we have this angle 54 degrees and if you measure this angle this is going to be 180 degrees all we need is this little angle over here how do we find this we put our compass over, uh, we put our protractor over here and we measure this angle and it comes out to be roughly about one second it is going to be roughly about 13 degrees so if this angle is 13 degrees this is 54 degrees and this entire angle is 180 degrees. All we have to do is add all of these angles and we find the bearing. So we add, one second, we add 54, we add 180 and we add 13 degrees. Let's see what we get. 54 plus 180 plus 13 degrees. Our answer comes out to be 247 degrees. That's the bearing. So we write it over here, 247 degrees. And we are done with the question. I hope this question made sense. The complete working of the entire question is present in the description below for you to download. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching.